YouTube, what is going on? Northeast Ohio Sports Cards back for another video talking about more cards that are undervalued, in my opinion, and potential buying opportunities. So, as per usual, we are going to use the Market Movers tools to find some information that could inform some buying decisions that could potentially make us some money. Uh, before I get into that, because I always forget this, uh, thank you guys very much. We hit 250 subs uh, just today, so that's awesome. Keep doing what you're doing on that stuff. If you're not subscribed, please do. And judging by the analytics, most of you aren't. Uh, so give me a subscription if you haven't. Uh, don't forget to comment on all the videos and give me some likes. Uh, as soon as we get some more subs, I'm going to think about doing maybe a couple of live streams here and there where I just set a time, uh, like a day ahead, uh, pop on, just kind of shoot that bleep and uh, just kind of see what happens. I, I kind of like the idea of uh, just like a back and forth with chat type thing. Um, but I feel like I need a few more subscribers for that to make sure that there's enough people in chat to carry a conversation. So, all right, let's get into it. It is Thursday evening while I'm recording this. The last video that I made on Tuesday was about buying and selling NBA cards in the bubble. Well, anyone that follows the markets saw what Bull Bull did yesterday, who was someone I mentioned in the last video as a guy that could go crazy. I am using this as a preview of things to come. Bull Bull had been getting a lot of hype, but his prices hadn't showed that too much. Uh, and then he played yesterday and everything went crazy. So, um, I pulled, and this isn't one that we're targeting to buy. This is a preview for what I think could potentially happen in this NBA bubble. So, um, as of... Uh, this is going back 14 days. So the beginning of this chart, this is his base prism silver, or his uh, prism silver raw, was going for about 40 bucks. Okay. As of the 20th, it was going for 53 dollars. The 21st, 60 dollars. The 22nd, 100 dollars. What happened? He played a basketball game, uh, and he played extremely well. Let me rephrase. He played a scrimmage, and his card went up. Let's uh, look at the last seven days' worth of data. Versus, oh, I'm sorry, this is the last seven days' worth of data. My fault. Uh, in the last seven days, his card went from <clears throat> a starting average of 40 to an ending average of 106 uh, for a 165% change. And most of this happened within about 35 minutes. And I'm not kidding. Um... His stuff was flying as fast as people could post it. It was flying. His card is one of the most sold cards in the last seven days in all basketball, regardless of a, of a type. So, this is exactly what I was saying in the last video. If you have young, cheap guy, lots, singles, silvers, whatever, and you have them posted on a selling platform, my recommendation is, is to pull them off the selling platform. Put them up at a price. If the player is playing that night, pull them down. Or just hold them until you know an event happens that starts to raise the price or run auctions or something like that. Um, I think you're open for potential to get screwed... Not screwed over, but to lose out on a lot of money. Imagine you went to work Wednesday morning or Tuesday night, listed a bunch of bull bull, maybe had three bull bull silvers that you threw up at best offer, buy it now at 50 or 60 bucks and said, cool, we'll see what happens. Went to work for the day and you come home because uh, they played in the middle of the day and the NBA games are going to be in the middle of the day and you find out that he went psycho, and all your cards sold for 50 and now that card sells for over $100. Not going to feel too great. So if you have any of these hype young guys that are playing in the bubble, 
my recommendation is, is to get them the hell off whatever selling platform you have them listed at. Um, so yeah, that's Bull Bull, and that's more of a recap of what we kind of talked about last video, but I literally talked about it, and then the next day, it played out into reality right before my eyes. So, uh, let's get into some individual cards that I think have some opportunities to make some moves on because the market hasn't caught up to what's already happening yet. Um, we talked about Lamar Jackson on last weekend's video recapping the week. So his base, this top line here, is his base PSA 10 prism. Uh, it went nuts the last two weeks. Uh, it went from, we're going back to July 9th here. At July 9th, it was selling for uh, just under $1,300. It is now selling for $2,500. So let's come down here. What I have charted here is his prism and his optic in PSA 10, PSA 9, and BGS 9.5. So that is what you are seeing right now, those six cards. So um, right here in the middle, this guy right here, is the base prism PSA 10. You could say 24 sold, and I'm going back 14 days. Sorry about that. Uh, 24 sold, I'm going back 14 days, and it's up 100%. All right, cool. Let's look at his PSA 9, also up 127%. All right. What's this one down here? Why is this one in the red? BGS 9.5. Now, only two have sold, so this is a very low count. So this data might not be great, but it appears, <coughs> excuse me, it appears that as these two have jumped, this has not yet. So these two went bonkers, and the BGS 9.5 has not yet followed suit. Um, this card went from 200 to 400, uh, and this card's still sitting at 700, basically. If you're looking for Lamar, the BGS 9.5 Prism is something to keep your eyes out for. Because it has not market corrected like the rest of the stuff has. PSA 10 always leads the charge. Everything always follows suit. We talk about it. I feel like every other video I, I say the same line. Follow the PSA 10. If it goes crazy, start targeting the non-PSA 10s. Same thing applies for Panini products. Prism goes crazy. You missed out. Go look at Optic. So, what's the top three cards on this chart? Optic. Football, base, PSA 10. It's top one up here. Up 110% over the last 14 days, just like the Prism. Prism led the charge. The Optic caught up. But, as we look down here, the PSA 9 is only up 50%. And, again, once again, low pop count, but, or low sales count, but the BGS 9.5 is only up 12%. And in fact, these two are almost selling for the same amount, the PSA 10 versus the VGS 9.5. Uh, so this is a massive buying opportunity on the BGS 9.5 on the Lamar Jackson Optic. It has not caught up to what the PSA 10 is doing yet. Um, so that's Lamar. So that's two cards there um, on Lamar that are buying opportunities, both BGS 9.5s. To a lesser degree, this PSA 10 or PSA 9 optic, but I would go for the BGS 9.5. It has more room for growth. Um, so, yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for those if you're in the hunt for Lamar. All right, up next, let's switch over to basketball. Zion. Now, uh, I might be a little late on this one because it looks like things are starting to tighten up, but... Um, there's still some opportunity here, I believe. So top line, Prism, PSA 10. Yellow, that's the pink line. Uh, yellow line is his SGC 10. Dark blue line, BGS 9.5. Uh, and this chart is also going back 14 days. So if we come down here, 
we can see his base prism PSA 10 up 20%. BGS 9.5 up 35%. Prism, or I'm sorry, SGC 10 only up 0.5%, has hardly moved at all. These have been sitting just under 500 bucks, and I've seen a couple sell for 500 to keep a close eye on these. Um, no matter what you think about SGC, they shouldn't. An SGC 10 should not be selling for the same amount or less than a BGS 9.5. That just should not be the case. Um, so if you're in the hunt for Zion and you are priced out on this at 800, I think this is a good get at around five. Um, I think you have two good things going for you. One, Zion is going to keep going up. And two, I believe as more SGC cards hit the market, that gap is going to continue to narrow. Um, right now, just like always, Prism PSA 10 leading the charge, everything else following suit. Now, in this case, BGS is actually up a little bit more, but um, if I go back further... BGS was actually lagging quite a bit behind the PSA 10 Prism, so I think this is the BGS catching up to the initial jump of this that it's been on. Um, but this one has yet to follow suit, and I think it's because it's like thought of third. Like People don't think of SGC really yet. Um, so what that means in the pecking order is, like we've talked about before, the PSA 10 Prism goes crazy on any given card, regardless of what player we're talking about. Uh, the other stuff follows, and it usually trickles down, the PSA 9 and BGS 9.5, and now with SGC being a player, their stuff begins to follow as well. Um, but it takes a longer lag time for that to hit, and I think we're in that window that you could pick some of these up before they start their charge on up the food, uh, or up, up the chain. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario, you get this at 500, and you try to cross it over with a PSA 10. Uh, and I know we've talked about this exact situation before, but it's still trending in the wrong direction where the SGC is not catching up. So there's still a buying opportunity there. Um, I think we've used a specific example of a card um, on a previous video about a week or so ago. But the, the opportunity is still there on it. And like I said, worst case scenario, you get it. You send it the PSA on a crossover, put a main grade of 10 on it. If it crosses over, sweet. Now you got a PSA 10 coming back and you just made... Even if you factor in the grading fee, um, you just jumped up uh, 200, 250 bucks, depending on what type of sub you did for the crossover. Um, and then, then you're golden, or you just sit on it and let nature take its course. But you have options, uh, and you're getting in at a lot cheaper price point. And it's still better than buying raw, because even if you don't necessarily like SGC, they're a reputable grader. They've been grading vintage cards for um, uh, forever. They're one of the most well-regarded vintage graders in the market. So it's not like they don't know how to grade cards. So I'm assuming your success rate on crossing an SGC 10 over to a PSA 10 would be high. I don't know. And I don't think anyone has that data yet because there's just not enough SGC slabs. But... I think it's definitely a strategy to target these SGC 10s and 9.5s to either just sit on and hold like you would anything else because I think they're going to gain market share. Or if they don't, you just cross them over and you're just basically paying a premium for a card that you know is in really good shape. Uh, and then you cross it over to a PSA 10. The price gap is so wide. You know, you're going up $300 price difference from an SGC 10 to a PSA 10. So to pay a $50 grading fee to cross over still leaves you with plenty of room um, uh, to make a profit on that, assuming the gap stays the same. I think the gap's going to close. It's just going to take a while. Uh, you got to remember, there's still tons of people, myself included, that has orders sitting at SGC waiting to get them back. Eventually, all those orders are going to come back, and all those cards are going to hit the market, and people are going to see SGC more. So I still think there's a buying opportunity on these SGCs uh, compared to other cards. And this goes across the board. I know not everyone can afford... $800 Zions, but you could be looking at anything, um, you know, Kobe Whites or something that are much, much cheaper, or we've talked about before, the LeBron Prisms uh, base uh, from 2019 
being under 100 bucks on an SGC slab, but almost 200 to over 200 in a PSA slab. Uh, that's a good buying opportunity on the SGC slab. So, uh, next one, back to basketball, or sticking with basketball. Uh, let's talk about Jaw. Jaw's PSA 10 Prism has gone crazy. Uh, I believe today, this is a little out of date, but I believe today it's cracking 500 regularly or close to it. Either way, it's about to. Uh, it's up 20% over the last seven days. I want seven days on this chart. PSA 9, lagging behind. Or, I'm sorry, this is raw. I, I did raw. So, uh, raw has stayed relatively the same. PSA 10 is up 20%. Now, let's look at the optic. Optic base is still sitting at around 35, 35 to $40. Um... Sorry, I'm all over the place with this mouse wheel. PSA 10 is flat. I know I sound like a broken record. PSA 10 Prism leads the charge. Optic follows behind. Odds are people are going to get priced out of this, and they're going to turn to this. In my opinion, base optic jaws are one of the best buys out there in the card market right now at 35 to even 40 dollars a card even if you're just starting out and said hey i have 100 or 150 bucks and i know we talked about this card on the i have 100 dollars. how do i start out video um if you had 100 or 150 bucks to buy cards right now this is what i would be buying base optic jaw uh this card probably has the most potential now buying raw is a little tricky because centering is a nightmare on these things, and they also have some surface issues because of the way that the cards are made. But regardless, if your budget's higher, I'd be scooping these like left and right, uh, the PSA 10 optics, because they are lagging. Prism's going nuts, and the optic is going to follow. And as I've stated before with Ja, he is most likely going to get a minimum of four games against LeBron in the playoffs. Those are all going to be in prime time, and everyone's going to be watching. So anyone that hasn't seen the Grizzlies play, now they're going to see the Grizzlies play. Um, I think this is one of the best buys right now, The his optic card. Uh, I love the prism, don't get me wrong, and it's just going to keep going crazier. Um, but this is a steal, especially the Raws, or a steal at 35 to 40 bucks. Um, you know, even at, uh, at 50 this is probably a steal. But yeah, this being this price, this is the main reason I did this chart is not so much for the raw, but for the graded. This um, this is just wrong. <laughs> Should not be staying flat while this is going crazy. I understand why it is, but massive buying opportunity on the jaw optic PSA 10 prism for anything around this 275 to $300 price. So uh, last one. And we mentioned this one before as well, um, I think on the last video, one of the last videos that I did, uh, talking about the Mookie Tops updates that Gary V mentions on his IG, and its price went ballistic. So let's come down here. Uh, this is the Tops update PSA 10, up 120%. Uh, this followed suit because people caught on, once again, the flagship product leads the charge, and then it lifts everything else. Um, this caught on and has also gone crazy up 82%. But the one that hasn't yet, or it's just starting to actually, it might be a little late on this one, is the Tops Heritage. Um, it is only up 25% over the last seven days. I went back a little bit further on this one. The catch uh, when the initial IG Live was. This is like nine days, I think. Nine days worth of data. And I'm not a big pop count guy, but if you are, this is the lowest pop of the three. Only 750 of these versus 1,200 and 2,400 uh, of the other ones. So uh, if you're in the baseball and you're looking for some Mookie and you've probably missed out on this already and you are probably missed out on this already, this one's lagging behind and is still a good buying opportunity because um, it's probably going to do a similar 
probably won't get up to this 80 or 110 percent change but it could probably get to 60 percent in another week or so as once again people get priced out of the ones that went nuts already and then they start to look at the second and third choices um, of whatever that player's cards are uh, and in this case heritage is one of the lower end ones i personally like heritage a lot i am not a big baseball guy um, but i do have some heritage psa 10s of a few different players i don't have any of mookie but some of the more modern guys like alonzo and stuff i just like the way they look they remind me of cards from when i was a kid uh that's the reason why i like them so um, but that's all i got for you guys today if you have any questions as per usual leave in the comments below i will try to answer them to the best of my ability um like comment give me a sub if you haven't and we will catch you guys on the next one peace